Hello, everyone. I'm kind of by myself today, but um, hopefully this will work. Let's go. Hello everyone, I am Virginia Poe. I am your solo hostess this week. I am all alone. My darling Levi is under the weather. So get better, rest up, and he'll be back next week for our next episode, which is going to be, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm, I'm really excited about it. We'll put out little hints throughout the week. So you'll just have to wait, ha <laughs> ha. But today, um, in honor of the recently passed St. Patrick's Day, um, which is celebrated very differently here in the United States, <laughs> um, I thought we might talk about Edgar's story a little bit, specifically speaking to his roots. Um, more than once I have had to correct someone about where Edgar's from. I have heard people claim that he is from Scotland and I'm like, mm, no, born in Boston, but mm, his family's from Ireland, <laughs> just saying. So we're gonna take a little trip across the pond to that beautiful Emerald Isle. Um, and there they have four provinces. Um, and in those four provinces are 32 counties, quite a lot. Um, however, Specifically, Edgar's story, we can go back to his great, great grandfather. Um, I don't know if anyone's ever been able to go quite back a little bit farther. Um, documentation, kind of hard to find sometimes, especially if you weren't to do, so to speak. Um, but we can go back to the county of Kavan, and that is where his great great grandfather was born, um, and where he died. Um, specifically, he's from a little place called Drin, and uh, his great great grandmother, Miss Sarah Poe, uh, she was actually also born um, in. I believe she was also born in in uh, Kavan and in Drin as well. Um, there's nothing that really says where she's from. Um, but we do know that he was a farmer. His great grandfather, um, David Poe, was a farmer. Um, and presumably an ancestor of a one Dr. Leonard Poe, who was apparently at one point the the uh, official physician for both uh, King James and the later King Charles the first. Um, they had four children. Uh, and of those four children, one was a Mr. John Poe. Now, John Poe is Edgar's great grandfather. Um, John doesn't really say when John exactly was born, but we do know that he did die in 1756 um, in Baltimore. Um, but he was born also in Dring. Um, and then his great grandmother, was a lady whose name was Jane McBride Poe. And we know that she was born in 1706 um, and she died in 1802 in Baltimore. Now his great grandmother was born in uh, Bali Money, um, which is in the County Antrim. Um, so they immigrated into the United States um, in 1744, 1750, or I'm sorry, 1749, 1750, uh, sometime in that time frame. 
to Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, <laughs> which is not too far from where I am. And I'm over there quite a bit. Um, but they did move to the Baltimore area here in the United States in Maryland, which is just about an hour or so south of me um, in 1755. Um, they had a whopping 10 children. Um, and of course, one of those uh, children, one of those, one of those 10 children was none other than the grandfather of Edgar Allan Poe, a one Mr. David Poe. Now, this David Poe, <laughs> a lot of names repeated, um, but this particular David Poe, um, he was born in Ireland. Um, he was born in 1742 or 1743. Jerry's still out on that one. Um, and he unfortunately did pass in 1816 in Baltimore. Um, now, of course, his wife, Poe's grandmother, was Elizabeth Carnes Poe. Um, she was born in 1756. And yes, she was born in 1756 and uh, she passed away in 1835. Um, she, now Elizabeth Poe, she, his grandmother, she was actually born in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, um, but she did pass away in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, now, it doesn't really say when they were exactly married, but they were indeed married. <laughs> and of that marriage came seven children, a lot of children. Unfortunately, they had two that passed away as infants, one that also died very young um, and never had children of their own. But of those children, two of those children, we will later have come into play quite quite significantly, obviously, um, one of comes in quite significantly, is Maria, um, who we later know as Maria Clem. Um, so she is Maria Poe Clem. Um, but his, that is his sister. And so we are now talking about, <laughs> here we go again, David Jr. <laughs> so this is Edgar's father, who um, we do know was an actor. Um, and he was born in 1784. Uh, he died, unfortunately, in 1811. Um, and he, of course, married a one Elizabeth Arnold Hopkins. Uh, she was born in 18, uh, 1787. Pardon. And she, unfortunately, also died in 1811. Um, now, she was also an actress. Um, her mother was also an actress. Um, so I thought that's kind of a neat thing, does definitely run in the family. Um, Elizabeth was actually married prior to being married to David. Um, her husband and for their, their marriage only lasted a few years because he died. Um, so they had no children from, from that marriage, but David Jr. and Elizabeth did indeed have three children. Um, and we do know that William, William, who was often referred to as Henry, um, he was born in Boston, just like Edgar. Um, he was born on January 30th in 1807. And then Eddie would follow in January of 1809 on the 19th. Um, <laughs> so their, their birthdays were very close to one another. Um, they were both born in Boston. Um, and then, of course, their little sister, Rosalie, she was actually born in Norfolk, they think. <laughs> but she was definitely born in Virginia. Um, and she was born on December the 20th um, in 1810. So unfortunately, um, both William and Eddie, we know they both died in Baltimore. Now, Rosalie actually did live quite some time. She uh, passed away in 1874 in Washington, D.C. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of funny how when we <clears throat> follow trails, sometimes it's a lot of people go backwards from, from, from like, let's say with me. But um, I thought we would go forwards by going across the pond there to, to Ireland. So truly, um, you know, technically, if you want to say Edgar is a second generation born 
Irishman <laughs> here in the States. Um, yeah. So that's kind of like the long and the short of it. It's kind of hard for me to riff off of things when I don't have a partner. And my cats are being very bad today. So <laughs> I might have to wrap this up shortly. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Um, Ireland obviously doesn't stop there for Edgar. Um, there are some themes that we do see uh, pop up um, in the course of stories and poetry, <clears throat> which we'll be covering later um, in the coming month. Um, actually, one of one of our things for next week, super excited about that, does um, have kind of a folkloric kind of theme, a kind of, hmm, is that what he meant? Um, and then, of course, in May, I've got something very, very special that we're going to be covering again that is very, very of Ireland. So um, more about that soon. But um, with um, just wanted to clear the air on that because actually somebody asked me that the other day and I was like, mm, no, no, not, not Scottish. Close, but not Scottish. Um, what else is there to say? Oh, wait, I know. Sloucha. Bye, everyone.